Child care in the U.S. is expensive. All across America, working parents on the brink. Getting to the point where you choose between work and child care. We have millions of working families. They are desperately searching for quality, affordable child care. So expensive that in many states, paying for someone else to care for your kid costs more than college tuition. Many low-income workers are spending a significant percentage of what they earn on child care. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services says child care should cost no more than 7% of a family's income. Income. Overall, the cost of child care has roughly tripled since 1990. Many families spend up to 40% of their income on child care. Should I keep working or should I stop and be with my children? One third of highly educated American women leave the workforce every year, and 74% of them say it's the lack of decent child care that's the primary reason why. But poorer families, many of them Black and Latinx, have even fewer child care options, especially single moms. Child care cost can wipe out or nearly wipe out any economic benefit the woman would get from working. As a result, women will often stay out of the workforce to care for their child. If you take one year off, you forfeit or you lose about 15% of your earning power for the rest of your life. Three years off, you lose 46%. The gender pay gap is largely because of motherhood. The labor participation rate of women in the United States kept pace with top countries in this area like North Norway, for instance, our economy would be $1.6 trillion larger. Better child care is a win for everybody. There's just no downside to it. Does anyone deny that our child care system is totally dysfunctional? We have had underinvestment in child care for decades. We've had poverty wages for the people who do this work, who are primarily Black and Latinx women. Despite rising costs for parents, child care providers in the U.S. are some of the lowest paid workers in the nation. The instructors, the educators who work with the little ones, you know what? Their work is as important or more important than college professors. The median pay for child care workers in the U.S. in 2018 was $23,000 a year, or eleven seventeen an hour. That's slightly less than animal caretakers like pet sitters and groomers. We have child care workers who are making eight, nine bucks an hour, who have no health insurance, who are not making a career of the important work they are doing. In Quebec, Canada, I could use universal $7 a day childcare from the day my son is born till he is ready to go to kindergarten. This government program in Quebec, created in the 90s, significantly improved women's employment rate. What other countries are doing and what we must do is say taking care of the littlest ones is one of our major priorities. To do that, we need a well-trained, well-educated, and well-paid workforce. And this means changing our national priorities to provide quality child care for all working families and make sure that those who work with the little kids are well-paid and well-trained.